Hey guys, uh, just before you do any activity outside with the footies um, or with the tackle bags, make sure that you uh, use hand sanitizer for your hands and then either a wipe to wipe down the ball before and after use. Okay, things we can do for our hookers, nice simple, you can use a wall, you can use a tree, you can use mum and dad, brother, sister to throw the ball to. How we're going to practice, because throwing should be more upper body concentrated, we're going to talk about what we need to do biomechanically, take our legs out of it, so I'm just going to start on my knees. Grip of the balls, a personalised thing. Some hookers hold it flat on, some hookers go old school. Whichever you do, just make sure you've got a firm grip on it. And the principles apply from the video earlier on about how you catch and pass. It's the same principle when I release the ball, I want my fingers pointing at the target. That target should be a jumper in the air. What I need to do though is I need to turn my core on to make sure my shoulders are nice and strong and my chin's facing where I want it to go. And then I load up where I want the ball to the back. For me, it's just here. And then when I fire, I'm gonna fire through. The key thing there is I'm not wobbling too much. If I'm wobbling too much, it means I'm not using my rotator cuffs, my forearms, and my biceps, triceps enough. So if I'm leaning back too far and wobbling forwards and I become off balance, and that means my core's not turned on, which means my throw won't be as effective as it could be or as accurate as it could be. Okay, a fun activity once we've got the basic biomechanics right is just make it a little bit more competitive or harder. Again, mum, dad, brother, sister, tree, wall, or anywhere you can find to get a target. Get some consistency in your throw. Go through all the biomechanical things we talked about and then see if we can hit the target. Not bad, for a shot. There she is, second time going.